Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. And in this video with you guys, I want to share with you something that I think is wonderful. Uh, something that can set people free when it comes to electricity. Um, probably going to be the greatest feat that I ever achieve uh, with alternative energy, uh, should it work. And I want to share with you my research and development as we go through this. There's been a million patents shared on this thing. Uh, not literally, but people's tried to patent this stuff and all this thing. I want to share with you free knowledge. Um, you know, what I intend to build, if possible, um, what I best labeled is a magnetic vortex perpetual motion electric generator. You're probably saying, my goodness, what a mouthful. Well, it's actually very simple. Um, now, I, I'm not trying to pull the next Nikola Tesla. Um, I, I totally respect that man. He's one of the greatest uh, achievers, uh, I think, that humanity's ever offered up. Uh, by the grace of the Most High, what I want to build, in a nutshell, produces electricity from uh, motion that through a framework built over it, I'll show you this is just very rough, but what happens is with points at multiple three angle poles, this creates a vortex. And the magnets within um, that vortex, this is kind of an angle at the moment, it don't represent it properly, I'll show you here in a second, kind of in an upright motion. But that creates a magnetic field. Uh, let me swap leads here. So here's the red. We've created a magnetic field, okay? And this will turn a motor, because this is a rotor on a shaft, and this will turn a motor, and this will create electricity into a battery bank, a power grid, whatever you say. Um, now, you may say there's no way to beat Unity. Um, there's no way to overcome unity. Yes, I am very well aware of that word being said, um, hence why I spent so much time in the gearing ratio of bicycle generator, consulting with friends, um, testing this out. Now, this is what I propose to do. Um, first off is I'm going to take a wind generator motor, okay, because there's so many of them out there, so we're going to take a permanent magnet generator, all right? Now, the next thing is you've got your shaft out of it. Now, where you've seen uh, in like a video link right there, I can show you. If you click that, where that we built a wind turbine before, it's nothing new on the channel, all right? Well, the rotor that goes on to it here, this would be where blades are attached. Well, instead of putting blades, we're going to put magnets. Now, I'll get into the whole how to put the magnets on it and everything. And listen, I'm not trying to shark nobody on this. I've seen bukus of this stuff done. Nobody, to the best of my knowledge, is done what I'm planning to do. Um, a lot of stuff close, but not in the same ballpark. Now what you're going to do is this is going to be mounted to a base. All right, here's our base. Now what we're going to do now is we've got our PMG. I'm going to write on here PMG and forgive me for writing sideways. And then we're going to have three posts coming up. I'm going to offset this one. All right. Now these three posts are going to house magnets three of them. All right. Now what's going to happen is in order to get this perpetual motion, you're going to give this a, a, a hand crank spin. All right. You're going to just grab that rotor and give it a yank spin. It. Now these magnets are going to create a, a field, a vortex per se, and it's going to keep this uh, magnets going inside it because the angles and everything that we're going to lay this out on the rotor. Now, with that going and uh, doing the motion that it's doing, what's going to happen is the electromagnetic field inside of the motor, okay, you know, when how we create electricity, all right, it's going to begin creating electricity, just as if the wind turbine um, blades were spinning. So that's going to be running out, creating power. Now, if... If I do my math right and I source out the materials right, what I plan to do is have these magnets um, half size larger than what would be in a permanent magnet generator. And so once you get this going, this is going to be humming. I mean, the RPMs that it ought to be throwing, it should be throwing enough RPMs up here that you're going to be able to output um, plenty enough voltage down here, whether it's 12 or 24 volt, whatever system you've got set up, you're going to be getting out what you need down here, at least the amperage to charge a battery bank or, you know, uh, heck, who knows what the possibilities may be with it. But one of the issues that comes up with this is now, okay, let's say we do get it going, right? Let's say we build this, we get the motion going. 
one thing that, you know, people may bring up, and it's been the biggest thing to me is, you know, it's weird. I'll just say this real quick. A lot of people's like, well, how do you get the thing going? You know, how can you keep perpetual motion going? All right. What I want, what my question would be is, how in the world do you get the thing to stop? Because you ain't going to be sticking your hands in there. You ain't going to, you know, you, yeah, you could maybe apply a brake down here or something to finally slow it down. But here's my thoughts is we're going to fix a slide stop on one of these. And what I mean is, is this right here, you've got a little handle here. This is the stop. This is the amazing stop switch for this whole system. Is you just move the post up. This one here moves up, one of them. You can pick any one of them. You only need one within the triangle. And when you push that up, it breaks that vortex of magnetism. All right, and I'm not trying to be all crazy tech on you here. I mean, this has just really been on my mind, and I want to share this with you guys because I've been kind of dead on projects for a while. I'm going back to the drawing board to really try to build something great. Not another gas of fire, not another, you know, solar or wind thing. I want to do something immaculate on this channel that you can benefit from from now until the most high comes back. This is the ticket, I really believe. So once you move that up, it breaks the system, you know, can slow it down. It comes back to normal. Uh, you know, equalizes out, and obviously you've got a um, blocking diode here, so you're not sucking power back from your battery bank um, as you would put in any system. So then at that point, once it's done, you just let the slide back down and that magnet's back in place, and now all you've got to do the next time, once you're ready to go, just give it a spin again. Now this all sounds great on the drawing board. And, um, you know, I've never done this before, show you a build on a drawing board before we build it, but I want to show you this, what's in my mind, because I want you to get to building you one now as well. Uh, I'm going to start on this project probably in about uh, a month and a half. You might say, well, why in the world are you showing us now? I wanted to show you this to get you uh, an idea of what it'll look like in the future, because in the meantime, I'm sourcing magnets and... Um, our, I mean, obviously, if you already have you a, a permanent magnet generator, electric motor laying around, you have a rotor, um, you can start looking at an idea for putting your uh, magnets on there and everything. But one last thing is that I think is really critical is that you understand is that the layout around the permanent magnet generator, you really need to understand that the magnet needs to be here, a magnet here, and a magnet here, all right? So we are creating, we are creating a magnetic vortex around that rotor, which is going to be right here, with those other magnets on it, and we want that to be really powerful. So it just keeps that spinning and just spinning and spinning and spinning once you get it going, and that's the ticket. And then once you raise the one up, like I said, then it cuts out the field and everything slows down and you go back to normal. And folks, I think that um, a lot of people's came up with uh, something similar to this, like I said, over time, um, I've seen so many things go down where that people have come up with a way to make free energy for humanity, um, and something bad happens to them, or they're bought out, or they're killed, and uh, it's terrible, you know, and the powers that be don't want you to better yourself. I wanted to share that with you, because I want you to better yourself, and I am currently in the process of bettering myself. So very soon, we'll have the initial phase um, of that in place, and I'll have my mount built, and we'll just take this project on head first. So hope that's a blessing to you. Until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day. And Yahushua name.